hi guys welcome to psn sap fico channel uh, today i am going to explain you guys uh, about app through dme mm, see business process flow what is the uh, few pay, few important payment methods uh, see with the app run uh, we can able to generate the check payment uh, as well uh, company will print check and send it to the bank uh, this is the check uh, related to check and with the app we can able to do the idoc with the help of idoc we can run the uh, app as well and for this bank will print check and send it sent to vendors like and uh, app with dme configuration after executing app uh, the dme output file will be generated that uh, which file will be generated that file we are submitting uh, submitted to bank then bank will uh, made the payment with the help of this output file like and bank will transfer the money to uh, vendors uh, see uh, most of the see uh, this output file uh, we will configure based on uh, it depends upon the bank statements based on the bank statement we will create the output file format like uh, uh, which we are uh, configured within the format uh, that uh, with the help of that uh, configuration the output file will be generated uh, that file will send to bank like then bank will do the payment to vendors and app dme process flow one vendor invoice first of all we need to do the steps uh, with the vendor invoice after uh, completing the vendor invoice uh, we need to do the payment to vendor uh, right uh, for that we need to run the app program automatic payment program or as a manual payment uh, after app execution dme payment method uh, see for example uh, after completing the vendor invoice within that vendor invoice the payment terms should be uh, defined with the help of a payment terms uh, if we define the today we are uh, done the invoice for that invoice uh, we maintain the payment terms as immediately then we can able to run for that invoice payment today itself uh, if we are uh, maintain the payment terms is different that depends upon the client that's uh, uh, based on the client requirement we will create the payment terms and some uh, some of the time within the payment terms we can able to assign the payment method as well with the help of payment terms the payment method will be calculated mm, today i am going to uh, in the previous session i have shown guys uh, to you uh, how to create the how to run the pay app program uh, and how to download that uh, output file uh, a DME output file uh, and today I am going to explain you how to create the DME format like so let me log in guys First of all, we need to create the format within the OBPM1. We need to create the payment medium format. Let me create uh, with a new format. Format name is Z2PSN. Okay, I am going to select this as well. Same. I am going to show you guys with flat file configuration. Sorry. Okay, I am going to click electronic payment medium file. See here if it is related to IDOC, then we can able to select the IDOC. If it is related to XML format, then we can able to say flag this. Uh, now I am going to uh, create the flat file so I'm going to select this file mm, here I'm going to flag mapping using DME engine 
and I mean medium output divided by the level of details like company code and uh, house band mm, based on this level company code uh, wide the payment output payment medium output file will be divided company code and house band and I am going to save this In this format, I am going to assign in the. See, now we have done the payment medium format. This one we should assign the payment uh, automatic payment configuration. Within that, we need to assign. Then only the file will be generated. We assign the payment method, uh, payment medium format in uh, like uh, within the IBJT configuration at company uh, payment methods in country call level india see this is the wire transfer like so now i'm going to try select the x within this double click See guys, this is the payment transfer uh, output payments payment method classic bank transfer. So here at the time of payment run, uh, if you uh, this is the required master record details within the like uh, vendor uh, within the vendor master the bank details is required uh, details and account number also required without these two uh, fee without these two fields we can unable to run the app program if you not maintain these two details within the vendor master then it will get the error like if you want to select the iban also required this is depends upon the client requirement if client want to uh, do the payments for that uh, uh, swift code also required like the uh, see here also document type uh, uh, document type for payment uh, kz clearing document type sca see now i am going to create uh, this guys uh, within the payment medium first of all we need to uh, control the pre uh, see here we need to assign that uh, format which we created and i'm going to assign that uh, payment medium format within the use payment medium workbench for it see here we want to find that which we created save it okay now we are done with that uh, assignment see now which steps we are done uh, we are created the payment medium format uh, that payment medium format we assigned the at payment method country level with the payment media uh, see for example when we are running the payment to vendor uh, see uh, uh, let me show you
See guys, here I am going to select the company code and my vendor. See actually when we are making the invoice to vendor for that particular vendor we are need to also in the payment method as well. Uh, see whenever we are going to run uh, for this invoice payment uh, at the time of that uh, see uh, now we are done with that uh, invoice to vendor uh, within that invoice which payment method we are sent. For example, you want to generate the check, uh, you want to, uh, client want to proceed for this vendor check payment method, then we need to assign the check uh, within the payment uh, tab, we need to assign the check payment method. If you uh, client want to generate for this vendor uh, through DME, uh, D, uh, like payment method X, that is the payment while transfer. Uh, client want to do the pay RTGS like left with the help of DME like. Uh, they don't want to uh, run the check payment method then you want to select the payment method is x previous which we uh, created uh, uh, already i shown you uh, in the previous uh, previous slide right uh, uh, depends upon uh, if we select the payment method is x then when we are running for this particular invoice payment then the payment will be uh, calculated from this payment method uh, configuration see within the payment method uh, within that payment method we assign the country level also i will show you then you can get deep idea see with this is the payment method this payment method at the time of invoice we assign the line item level right uh, when we are uh, you are running uh, going to run that payment uh, then it will uh, generate within this payment method which format you assign like see here you assign the uh, payment medium format is z2 psn underscore dme uh, this uh, within the format which you maintained uh, the fields the based up on this configuration the flat file will be generated that flat file after generating that flat file we need to send that file to bank then bank will uh, uh, do that based upon that uh, flat file bank will do the payments to direct vendor then they will get us to uh, bank will send us to the dot cod file that dot cod file we need to convert into the multi file format that file we can able to see which payment uh, which vendor uh, invoices uh, invoice uh, which uh, which invoice payment is done like the, those details like payment at where for particular which invoice number we have done the payment like we can able to check those uh, invoices like this all i have created steps as well for that and i will show you that later here is some the payment media format 